Thanks. We just finished the full warm up, and now we are going live for the entire training session. It's a strength training workout. It's gonna have three three dumbbell exercises back to back: a pushing movement, a lower movement, and a pulling movement. And then just to add on to that bonus round, we're gonna do a short set of push up pull ups and a short set of push ups just to get them in. That's not the main part of the workout. We just want to keep increasing our pull ups and to keep the push ups going strong after we've been attacking them for the last month after the 24 hour push up challenge. So it's gonna be three dumbbell exercises back to back push, lower, pull. We're gonna start with a flat chest press, a dumbbell squat, and a dumbbell bent over row. Different variations each round. I'll let you know how the variation goes each round. We're gonna switch it up and immediately when that's done right to pull-ups, but this is a short set, so it's gonna be like five or six pull-ups, and then push-ups, anywhere from 10 to 20. Just bang them out, just get a little extra touch, a short little break before we go to the next round. Reps, we're gonna keep between 10 or 12 to 15, even some rounds up to 20, 25. We want, we're want we looking for high reps, we're looking for some strength endurance, get the heart rate up, so we're building lean muscle while we are killing fat. I'm gonna get set up on my bench right here. My bench. Way over here. And that's what we do in the chest press. It's just dumbbells. You can use kettlebells. We'll probably use kettlebells for the rows. I'll move this camera around with us so you can see it. It makes it a little brighter for me to see because I can't see that well. I'm fucking blind. All right, so we're going to get started right, right away on my bench for my chest press that seemed to have just disappeared when I turned my back. I come to chit chat with you people. And someone takes my fucking bench. <laughs> this is outrageous. This Bob, is I think it was Robert back there. Right here, I think Robert heavy. took my freaking bench back there. Robert's in the back. This is Bob. Oh, you miss him every time. Robert needs to back the fuck up. Robert needs to back the fuck up. Bobby! Bobby! Bob has her bench. Yeah, Jenny's gonna work. You're gonna get weights dropped on your dome. You're gonna get weights dropped on your dome. I'm getting go started. Go. They can keep playing Russian musical yeah. chairs while I lift some damn some weights. While I slang some but freaking can steel. Keep and listen, don't think you have to start off heavy. I start off my sets. Look at this. 35 pounds in my first round to warm up. That's a lot. <laughs> and I don't care how light it is or whatever. It's not here about lifting heavy. This is the first round we're going to warm up there. We're starting with a double arm set of chest press. Oh, the shoulders are stiff from yesterday. Oh, yeah. Double arm set. It's going to go about 12 to 15 for this first round. Complete control. Breathe out and push it up. Exhale on the way up, in through the nose, on the way down. Are you done already? Shoulders are no. tweaked. Mitch, how are you done when you said already? You no, started when I was on 10, three, no, and you finished when I was on no. 12. So you did two no. reps. No, you finished. Right to a squat. Okay. Wait, squat, we're gonna, I'm gonna start off with a little lighter weight. Your legs haven't even. Come on. It's gonna hold a light dumbbell right here at the chest. For the set of squats to get the legs warmed up a little more. We did do a full warm up already because I was video right before this with foam rolling, stretch strap, and exercise band. Get through the nose down, breathe out as you push up. Lock it up. This leg sets are just going to be 10 to 12 for now. We're just getting started. Drive it. And that's good. Right into bent over rows. I'm going to use kettlebells for these. And I'm not walking them all the way across the damn town. So check this out. Bam, suckers. Shit. Just broke <laughs> the whole stand. Yeah. whole stand just dropped on me. So let's get a double pair of dumbbells, of kettlebells. Right here. And it's going to be bent over rows, alternating arms. Right here. And I'll spin around. Look, it's like a carousel, so you can see from all different angles. Don't spin around, I'm just fucking showing it to you. Just slow, controlled, alternating arms. Tight squeeze, abs are tight. What about 12 each side? Guys, this has to be somebody on Facebook, otherwise you're all in the corner. Done. So that was our three exercises. I'm gonna take the mic stand. You know, this is actually a mic stand. I used to be a rock star. I used to use carry this and I played the guitar and I would sing, in case you didn't know that. Yeah. Push. So we're over here for pull-ups. It's just a short
short set of pull-ups. Literally, it's going to be five or six pull-ups. Just to throw in pull-ups each round. And as we get more warmed up, we might add more into it. So this is a short set of pull-ups. The pull-up right here. Pull-up right here. If you guys do not have pull-up, maybe you have a TRX. You can do rows with TRX. First round, we're just going easy, smooth, and freak show. They gotta use their little steps. They gotta step on phone books to get up there. And he also need hooks. And hooks. Tyson banging out his pull-ups there, just a short set. And then right away is gonna be just a set of push-ups. And it's a short set. This first round, we're really just still warming up, so it's gonna be 10. Chest to the floor, though. Chest and floor, feet together, quick, easy, set of 10. First round, down! That was hard. That was a hard round. No push that was a joke, it was just a warm up. Warm up round. So now on this break, all we're gonna do is hydrate, stretch, strip if we need to, hydrate, stretch, and strip. And then adjust the weights that we need to adjust, because we're gonna now be going up and weight and everything, because that was just warm ups. So we're still just getting loose stuff. That was really the first round. Joints aren't even totally warmed up yet. So we're just gonna stretch, shake, and adjust whatever weights. What the fuck does this keep dropping for? Adjust to whatever weights we need to adjust. Angle that down. So we'll go heavier weight on the chest press. Chest, we're gonna stick with double arm the whole time. You could also do alternating and single, but we've been doing so much stuff in our shoulders that alternating is a little bit different feeling in your shoulders. So chest press, we're sticking double arm. The rows, we're gonna mix up between alternating double arm and single. Same with other exercises later. So let's get back to it after I take a damn sip. sip with you also just have regular water besides your pre-workout drink. So you can stay, so you can stay. Hydrogenated. 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 Yes, we are a very edumacated family. Look at her, she's going crazy. But that's so we're increasing the weights right here. Chest press. A little heavier. Every round we're heavier and heavier. Oh, chest press. And you're not but still high you. rep. We're looking for reps here today. We're not looking for any mass amount. Right here in this chest press. We're going to go about 15. Complete control. Elbows tucked in a little bit. Stick the chest out. Breathe out through your mouth on the way up, in through your nose and way down. Out through your mouth, control down. No bounce at the bottom. Drive it up. Drive, drive, drive. And I'm yapping, so I can't count when I yap. So I have no clue how many I fucking did. I'm at 15. Down. That means that you need to upgrade your weight. Grab your dumbbell, a little bit heavier, for our squat. Pull it right into your chest, pin it in. Your dumbbell is a magic, you have an imaginary dumbbell? Grab the dumbbell. Put your nose on the way down, sit back on the hips and heels. Don't let that weight pull you forward. In down, exhale. Breathe it out. Abs are strong. Back is straight. You can go anywhere 10, 12, 15, 20. Whatever. Over the bench. Over. Rows. This round is going to be double arm. We're going to increase the weight. And there's midgets running across the floor. That's going to stop running across the floor, but they're going to get bashed in the head with a weight. So we're going double up. Double arm on these rows. A little heavier weight. So that's both arms going together. Not alternating like we did last round. And next round, we're going to go single arm. Squeeze those little weights together. Back is totally straight. Not pulling forward. Abs needs to be tight. Core needs to be tight. Your abs, your abs need to be tight. Not your stomach, because your stomach's an organ. Dig, dig, dig. Going 
don't know, 15 each? 15 ish? 15 and finish. 15 ish? 15 ish. It's 15 ish. And we're running over with my mic stand. This is a mic stand. I told you in the warmest I used to be a gymnast, but I also used to be a rock star and a guitar player. Get out of there. Over to pull ups. Last round was just five, so we'll go like six. These are just easy sets. Let's mix that bitch. You're cutting off the line. You have your pull up right here. Look, look. You can go here at the same time. Pull ups right here. You guys know the order right now, right? So just keep on going. Right to the pull up. What you've been up to. Isabel. Peace. Guys, listen. We're just getting warmed up. There's the six pull ups. And I take this mic stand. We're going back over for push ups. And that's the round. Send us a message. And keep going. Right here. Push ups. We did 10 last round, we're just going up to 12, just adding on top of it. 12. So you know the pull-ups, the three dumbbell exercises, we rearrange this. I might stand back over for my singing performance. The three dumbbell exercises. Fuck. Sing for us. Sing. The three dumbbell exercises are the main part of the workout. I'll talk while I strip, because now we're getting warmed up. The three dumbbell. What is this look on your face? Duh, duh. It's the main exercise. We're just adding in the pull-ups and the push-up for just extra work throughout the round. That's it. That's not even the real part of the round. The real part of the round is those three dumbbell exercises, that circuit. We're just trying to make it harder just by working on our pull-ups every day, even days that pull-ups aren't part of the program. And we work so hard on push-ups over the last month for the 24-hour push-up challenge that we don't want to lose the progress we made in the chesticles. The chesticle, chesticle area. We don't want to keep the chesticles pumping, so. We're just adding in some push-up, pull-ups and push-ups. Pretty much every freaking workout. Hydrate, stretch, and strip. Hydrate, remember to have your hydrogenation up. You have to be hydrogenated. Exactly. Hydrogenation. Keep on stripping. Oh, I can't fit over my shoes. I gotta take my shoes off. You are lucky. Listen, Instagrams and Facebooks over there. You are lucky that you don't, this isn't like the future technology and you don't have smell-o-vision because if you had smell-o-vision, you'd smell these feet right now and that'll really, that'll really wake you up in the freaking morning. Oh yeah. You just give an idea. That smells good. The right, the right sneaker smells like roses and the left sneaker smells like peaches. Can you imagine the taste that would, you would smell? Smell of peaches of course. Can you imagine? Smell-o-vision. So listen, in between these rounds, especially as we start increasing the weight and increasing the reps, you have to have a break in between the rounds. We're doing circuits. They're literally doing five exercises in a row, and four of them are upper body. The lower body is getting a little bit of a break because we went so hard on it the last couple days, and also we're doing a couple hours of bike riding here tonight as a second workout. So the legs are not getting a ton of workout now. So you should add in some kind of run. What is up over there? What is this looking at my breasticles for? So. Realize you need a break in between these rounds, no matter what shape you're in, because we're going heavier and we're going longer, rep, longer, uh, higher number of reps. So you need the break in between these rounds so that you can get a full set coming up. Not touch. Stretch it, and we're gonna increase the weight and we're gonna increase the reps. So the weight's gonna go up and the reps gonna go up. We're gonna go heavier weight and we're gonna go about 20 reps here. Or see how it happens. See what happens. <laughs> 20 reps or until the weight falls on my face. Excuse me. Excuse me. Not here. No problem. Do 100 today. Not 100 pounds. I'm not looking for heavy weight today. Trying to make me look stupid on the Instagrams. 100 pounds falling on my damn chest. All right, let's do it. High, heavier weights, higher reps. Round number three, I think. Yeah. Three. Let's roll. Oh, yeah. Throw at least 15 this round, 15 to 20. Bang it out.
five times. Bang that shit out. I sucked twice. I'll take a break. I'll have a cup of coffee in between. You're going to do all that shit. All right, right to the squats. Right to squats. And listen, along the way, if you have any questions, comments, put them down there below. Let's talk about it. I'll be checking them in between. Especially if we have breaks in between every circuit. We need a break. So put them in there. We're also going heavier weight on the squat, but we're not going as high reps on the legs because the legs need a little recovery from the crazy workouts and the workout we did, what we did yesterday. Oh yeah, this was cardio, body weight. Breathe it out. And we're doing a couple hours of bike riding later to prepare for April 3rd and 4th, 24 hour bike ride challenge for charity. Coming up. Is it also 12 noon to 12 noon? Yep. Is it gonna be like that for all the challenges? Let's we'll see how it goes. It's gonna end on Easter. Easter Sunday. Woo! And you're not gonna get any trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna get trouble. So we'll be suffering on Easter. Not eating some fucking marshmallow, some little marshmallow duckies or some nasty artificial color bullshit like that. All right, bent over rows. We're going single arm. And heavier weight. How are you doing, S? What weight is this? Maybe the bunny will come. This one is 20, 24 kilograms. We talk kilograms in Russian household. Yes, that's right. It is kilos. <laughs> kilos of cocaine. All right, we're going single arm. Pick an arm, any arm. Mitch, please stop walking circles around with the weights. Mitch. Can you two stop cutting across the weight room floor? It's like cutting across a minefield. You don't know what could happen. Shit might just go off. Let's go, single arm rows. 20 per side. That was not a set. I don't know what that was, but you wiggled for about four seconds and you put the weights down. Hell no, not a lot of my camera, especially. Don't be shitting me, kid. It's not a set either. Uh, so it'll be 20. Ah. That's gotta be close. 21! The Instagrams, you gotta count for me, because I'm sitting here battling, making sure a little freak show ain't bullshitting. I did shit. Other side, 20. Other side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Squeeze that whole right side, side of your back. Other side. I haven't seen it, so if I didn't see it, it doesn't count. Fifteen. I'm telling you right now. Nineteen. Twenty. Hey, Mitch. Which one? Mitch. Mitch. <laughs> so next we're going to go over to the pull-up. Nothing was going on off camera. Don't worry about that. Nothing was going on off camera. There was no child abuse going on or anything. Don't you worry. We're going on pull-ups. Oh, there's some handles there, so let's switch up those handles. See how those handles are. I might bash my knees on the weights below. And I don't know if these handles can carry all this lard, but we're gonna see what happens. Lard. And yes, there's still Halloween decorations up outside of our house. We still have Halloween decorations up. It's fucking March. It's today's like what is today? Like Valentine's Day or something? No, then. What is today? Say someday. Say St. Patrick's Day, and we still have Halloween decorations up hanging outside of our house. There's something sick about this neighbor. I can't imagine why the neighbors don't invite us over for tea and any biscuits. tea and biscuits. Let's do it. Try out these grips. I hope these don't snap. These snap, I will fuck my knees up on these weights. It looks snapping. <laughs> snap in the top position my knees bent and all my weight boom and on those weights that would fucking suck all right we're going to push-ups and we're going to add reps onto the push-ups as i'm singing on the microphone and snorting snorting the booger snots while i'm right up my face all right push-ups we're going up by two every round because push-ups is just a throw in we're going to 14 jeans 14, 14. 14. 14. on the push-ups Let's roll. Easy 
14. And that's the round. Push ups. So we're back to our favorite part of the round. The Break. hydration, stretching, hydrogenation, hydrogenation, hydrogenation. and hydrogenation. the clothing removal as we get more warmed up. <laughs> and then you have my little pre-workout right here. That's everyday fit. What are you drinking? Everyday fit. Everyday fit? Two different kinds. Two different kinds, concoction of everyday fit. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's your favorite drink from Herbalife, Vodka? So that was three rounds. We're gonna, we pretty much hit the top of the weight that we're going to because we want to stay in the ranges of 15 to 20 to 25 reps. So we're not gonna go any heavier. That's not the effect we're looking for right now. So we're gonna stick with the weights, the dumbbells. I'm just using 50 pounds and that's fine with me. That 50 pound dumbbells, I don't care what your level is, you're doing the right way, the right type of circuit, the right type of technique. That's all you need. Shit, I could, I'll use 25 pound dumbbells and get a killer workout. No, there's no ego here about how much weight I need to lift. That's the way it goes. So we're gonna go round four, stick with the chest press. The bent over rows are also gonna be 50 pound kettlebells, but they're gonna be back to alternating, back to the first way that we did them, which was alternating. So we did alternating the first round, remember? Then double arm, then single arm for the rows. Now we're back to alternating for round four. We're probably going around six rounds of these. And that's just the first group. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. I have another hour right. until any calls. So keep stretching because these rounds should be wearing your damn body down, should be getting your heart rate up. Five speed exercises, all at decent weight at this point, all with high reps. You're working on building lean muscle, burning fat, getting your heart rate up, working on your strength, your conditioning. Keep it drinking, keep it hydrated. Make sure you have that. Do a commercial for progress right now. Here. Medium, light, and heavy. All right. We are. We're getting ready to go. We don't need that much of a break. We want to keep the pump going. We want to keep the pump going. I just spit all over you. Sorry, Instagram. Just spit the hell all over you. After those high reps of chest press, adding in the push-ups and the chest work we've been doing all this time with these push-ups, the chesticle area is just feeling phenomenal. Don't kick me in the chesticles. It's phenomenal. Oh, awesome. It's like an over-the-top way of saying like, oh, that's just phenomenal. Like amazing, awesome, great, super fantastic. Well, it means tremendous because like mommy always says that. A large amount, important, like a very what much amount. Tremendous. Tremendous. It's tremendous. This, this, this Herbalife, Herbalife is tremendous. Well, very, very important to, to, to hydrate. Very important. Very, no, very important. What time she said? Like, very important. What time she was on the call time? And he was talking to her about Herbalife, and she was like, you lose a tremendous amount of weight. A tremendous amount of weight. <laughs> tremendous amount of weight. 20. Let's roll. Yeah. 20 again? Assistant. 20 pounds? Ugh. This little shit's got 20 pounds. I only have 50. He's going to be doing more than me soon. Let's do it. Go. Round four. I don't know. Question How many are you doing? Yeah, you're doing, you doing 26 again? Yeah. Yeah, let's see it, sucker. Suckers. Three, two, one. You're rolling. Stick that chest out. What are you stopping for? 11, 12, 13, 14. That's like half your body weight total. That's like 25% of your body weight in each hand. 
doing it for 15 reps. That's like chopping you into four pieces and grabbing this amount of you and lifting you up in each hand. What did you do, Mish? I did 35 into 5. 35 reps? Means that she needs 8 of 5 pound dumbbells. 35 reps. Time for you to step up the weight. That was too easy. All right, we're going to. Who we got on here? Oh, this is Salt, Miss Salter. We have an interview coming up today. Hope you're still on there live. Can you scoot over here in my squatical position? Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, squats. Not going heavy on these either because this is circuits. This is a 50 pound dumbbell. Just pin it to your chest. Come on, show it. Throw it down. Show, you freaks. And throw those down, breathe it out. We're going to go 12 to 15. Pull down, no bouncing. Oh yeah. yeah. No idea what I'm on because I'm babbling. We'll go five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Alright, we're sticking with the 50 pound or 53 pound kettlebells for bento rows. And they're going to be alternating. So we can shift over. Right there. Right there. So we'll grab the two. Bend over row. The pair of 24 kilogram. 24 kilogram kettlebell. I like kettlebell. He likes the way Oh, yes, yes. Kettlebell. Yes. And we're going to alternate arms. Excuse me, your butt is blocking the whole thing. The butt is always We're blocking. on a 75-inch screen here, and your so butt is blocking my whole view. And her camera. And the camera. <laughs> That's just sad. Let's go. Bend over rows. Heavier weight. Alternating arms. 15 per side. pull-ups. Let's go for a walk. Back to the pull-ups. I'm not doing those twisty things again because my knees, I'm so close to hitting the weight to the bottom. My dangly, dang, gangly, dangly body pulls down. And let me tell you, after doing 40 reps of bent over rows of 50 pounds, these pull-ups are going to be fun. Let's see what happens. Maybe I'll get one. Ah! That's a good Put one. Put me on camera. Pop, pop, yeah. pop. Go. Put me on camera. Slower. Higher. Shh. You are doing three. Oh, four. I'll take it. I'm going to try to get two, maybe. She got freak show. It's gonna be hard after, but you gotta you gotta rest watching my set. Here, look at the spider. Halloween decorations. Look at that. Only in the freak house in the neighborhood. Still's got fucking Halloween hey, decorations guys. up. And inside, you'll see we still have a Christmas tree up. It's just how we roll. It's just how the freak niches rolls. Alright. Going to push-ups. Where are we on? 16? 18? 16! 16 push-ups. The grand is round four. We're adding two every round. 16, go. Chest out, that was kind of hard. Look at that barrel chest. 
a barrel chest. All right, so we're taking a break. You need a break after this stuff in between rounds. And it's not even a break. Mario Estrada, what's up? Full training session on here. If you're just jumping in now live, you can watch this later. Just a pair of dumbbells, all you need for a full total body training session. What do you have? That we are getting Passion. in to mix in with your cardio, of course. And you're running. And this is the type of way, Mario, this is the type of way you should be lifting for endurance, lifting for weight loss while you're still building and maintaining lean muscle, still keeping some strength, but more strength endurance. This exact routine, which we're doing right now, and variations of this routine. So watch it back from the beginning. Download it, save it, save it, click save, share it. A little hydration. Hydrogenation, not hydration. Ah, still sitting away on the pre workout. We still got a long way to go. Long way to go. So we're doing, shit, we're doing 30 reps with the dumbbells there, then the squats, then the 40 reps on the bent over row, eight pull ups, and 16 push ups. Your muscles need a break, otherwise we could go right away, but you're not gonna get the same set. We want that same set going. That was five exercises in a row. We did a crazy cardio session yesterday. The shoulders were a little sore, legs were sore. Up, 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 up. Oh, man. Not for you, sucker. This is the thickest piece. So get, get ready. He knows us. We're gonna start the next round. And adjust your weights if you have to. Keep those reps, these sets, in between 15 and 20. That's what we're looking yeah, for now. That is, is the, no. you have this just on the, on the breasts the whole time. Like, <laughs> well, because this is your main part. Because the chest workout, she's got us zoomed in on the chesticles. Check that out. Look at that. <laughs> Get ready to go. In a couple seconds. All right. Even though the muscles aren't fully recovered, they're not going to be. We don't want them to be. We're going to ride the wave. So it's going to get a point where we're going to top out during the workout. After a hard, hard round, we don't want to rest and recover for 10 minutes. So just after a couple minutes, whatever it is, it might start dipping. So we'll still try the same weight. Might not get 30 reps this time. We're going to see where it goes. But it might start lowering at some point. What the flip is going on on my bench? He just took my 25-pound dumbbell right now. So you're lifting the same weight as an 8-year-old boy. Yeah. A 9. 9-year-old, whatever. Yeah, like he just took my 25 pounds dumbbells in the chest. Mitch, Hold on, let me Scoodle. keep those away. Let's do it. So I One last bang on the chest. Ha! King Kong that shit. Oh. I like that King Kong that shit. Yeah, okay, I'm going to try to do this oh. on my own. That's going to fall on your face. You're going to do much I damage. I can spot you. Can't do much more damage. There it is. I can spot you right here. Let's Might do this. Come on, Chris. Daddy, I'm okay. doing 16. I'm do Daddy, I'm doing 16 pounds. 16 pounds? Wow. Eight in each, each hand. hand? Yeah, eight in each hand. Nice. Good job. Yeah, that five was too easy for you. All right, chest. Yeah. Chest that yeah, again. Let's do this, sure. guys. Cindy. Let's do it. I can literally feel my legs Come on. because this is kind yeah. of Yeah. Well, it's Come on there. Get, remember, pounds. get your legs to help get in position. Go. Let's do it. He's got 25. I have 50. Kid's doing half my weight. Little shit. <laughs> but how many are you going to do, sucker? <gasps> And you're not even on the camera. You're on the Facebook camera. Instagram. All well, Instagram sees is your knees. You're doing knee exercises. Yeah. Let's roll! You got it. Come on, again. Press, press, press. Again. Strong. One more. No. Bring it down. Bring it down. I said no. No or yes? What do you no, mean no? No, no, no. One more rep. You don't have to hold me. He says no. I said what? You want too much for him, Ali. He's saying no. He's saying you're helping. Let go. He's saying you're helping him too much. You're going all set. Jeez. You're doing bicep curls for him. Go do work. Okay, got it. Everybody wants to see it. Go, show me eight. Oh, show me chest press. Go, go. No clue what I'm on. I know it's not thirty. That's go, true. Go, show me. Show me, Ivanka. Show. Ah, show everybody. There's a time. Go, go, go. The reps. We'll start going down. The That's show so will be off. 
Oh, yeah, so I'm talking to the wall now. You're just turning my shit off me. She's made on the camera right now. Midget, did you oh. set? No, she wanted to show everybody. Here, do your set. I'll do my squats. Go. Next to you. Oh, my squat. Oh, my Squat time. God. You are fine. You need a going. spot for that. That's easy. You do not need spot. We're live on the Instagrams. You have no bullshit now. You got no choice no, but no, to slang have, some steel. You have it. So that means we're back to double arm. Double arms for me are actually a little harder almost than alternating. For some reason alternating just gets me in the groove. Gets me in the groove. That bitch. Looking big. Doing the chest press. Getting a high five. I have to hire, you guys know I have to hire an assistant that just wipes my ass when I take a dump because I can't wipe my own ass. Because I work chest so much. Can't even reach around to wipe my own ass. Oh yeah, bento rooms. Let's go. Bento row. Ooh, sets are starting to catch up. Feels good. Ten. Pull-ups. See what happens. So. I gotta do a while. This set. See what happens. See what the hell happens. One, two, hey! Oh man! Oh man! Push ups, we're up to. Where are we up to on push ups? 18. Yeah, eight, you said 18. You said leave the camera? Yeah. Alright, let's see what you got after all those rows. It's gonna be tough. Get up there. There you go. Rip the bar down. Don't get too much momentum with the legs. It's okay. Nice. They're coming. They know what to do. These push ups, these pull ups, and push ups are just additional sets to the round. So now we got 18 push ups at this point. Eighteen push-ups. Let's roll. Chest touches the floor. Feet together. Elbow still. Feel the damn elbow from the push-up challenge. Once we get to these sets. Should be one word. Hydrate. And it's a Y, H Y. Hydrate is H Y H Y for hydrate. <laughs> Alright. So that was five rounds. Five rounds of five exercises. That's it. So we did 25 sets so far. We're up to 20 to 30 reps. For most of these rounds, 15 reps minimum. It's a lot of work in a short amount of time. Which is why you should be. Out of breath. Your heart rate should be up. You should be sweating during a strength workout. You should need a recovery in between rounds or circuits 
or sets or whatever. If you don't, keep fucking going. You shouldn't have stopped. Or you're not going hard enough for that round. Like, I'm not ready for this next round. Shit, we're doing one more round with that group. I'm not ready for it anytime soon. If I do it right away, with those 50 pound dumbbells, I'll be lucky if I get 10. Who knows? So we're gonna wait and recover, but it's active recovery. It's moving your body. You're also moving, yapping your gums because I'm yeah, chit chatting gums. with you freaks. Hey, send a message to the freaks. We're gonna move and recover. Oh, it's only 10.53. I don't have my next meeting until 11.30. We got a lot of time. And we only got one more time with this group. Then we play the same game with three different exercises for another three, four rounds or whatever we have time for. And that's just workout one for the day. Then we got bike riding later. Workout. We have reading time every day. This pre workout is good. Hey, that's my pre workout. Move, stretch, stretch your chest, stretch your shoulders, move them, rotate them so they don't stiffen up, keep the blood flowing, stretch your tries. Oh, yeah. Check your squats out. Squats you're doing. Even the bent over rows, that stabilization is working a ton in your legs also. Your legs and core. Stretch the glutes. Get ready, you got one more time with this group. We're gonna keep all the weights the same. 25 again? Huh? Unless, you, unless your last round was too heavy that you couldn't get high reps, we're looking for at least 15 reps right here. So if your weight was heavy, on any of these exercises, you couldn't get 15 reps. That means you need to. Did we do double arm that round on rows? Yeah. We did? Yeah. That's double. Alright, so. Alright, I did double arm. Thank you, Dan. I screwed that up. No, we double thing first. That was double arm that last round. Yeah. So this round for rows is single arm. Not all the time. It's actually double You said, yeah. And I said, we no. double arm. You said, yeah. You know, there's an alternate double arm? Yes. So this round is going to be single arm on the rows. So if any of these exercises you couldn't get at least 15, it means your weight's too heavy or your muscles get too fatigued, so you need to just drop the weight a little bit to get to still get the same reps. Don't stay the same weight and struggle for seven or eight. It's not what we're looking for here. All right. Enough yapping. Time to make it happen. Let's go. Come on, come on. Time to make it happen. Go. Wait, mommy. No more fucking yapping. Let's make it fucking happen. I like that. Of course you like it. <laughs> I go. like that. Go. Show me. All right. Show me seven to twelve. Let's see what we got. One more time in this group. Ha! Let's roll. Squats. Squatters. What is my dumbbell doing over here? Let's do it. Squat. What? I don't know. Who knows? She wants to get the car every fucking five minutes. Squat. Last time with these. And, and uh, sit back on the heels. And through the nose down, out the mouth up. Bent rows. 
Bent row is going to be single arm. Bent row. Single. Yes, no excuses. You <coughs> said that. My wrist now. I reached over the uh. camera. Here's how I zoomed in. Let's do it. Single arm bent row. Kid all bell. I need the 25-20. Kilograms. Let's go. You don't need to play. Single arm. 20 for arm. Ha! Stand straight in between, especially on a long round. So your lower back's not fading. It's hard to hold that position. 21. Right on the other side. Pull up time, suckers. They are gonna suck even more and more every set. Those single arm sets of 20 single arm row. Seems left in the tank. Round six. Round six of six for this group. Push-ups. We gotta hit fucking 20. Elbows are getting tweaked from still from a week and a half ago from the challenge. They finally recovered, but it keeps coming back. Look at the little midget. Little midget slanging steel. Throwing eight pounds around like it's a toy. Like it's a freaking Barbie doll. No, like this. I did one stroke. Go press. 20 push ups. Go all the way down. Can't go high on 20, so I go back down. Again, tens. down. Press, Next press, group press. Next group is 10s because my really getting. And again, okay. press, breathe Let's out. Let's do it. Ha! Breathe out. Okay. Shh. 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 Flashbacks of that 24 hour push up day when every rep for 14 straight hours was like bone popping out of bone. Dang it, that was the first time we stopped right here. Tyson's still down there finishing off his set. All the way up there, extend the arms. Extend the arms. This is next round. Next group. That group is done. What are you doing? That group is done. This group's gonna be shoulder presses, dumbbell shoulder presses for this round. Dumbbell shoulder press, kettlebell deadlifts, and then dumbbell bicep curls. The shoulder presses and the bicep curls are gonna switch variations, just like the bent over rows, where one round will be double arm, one round alternating, and one round single arm. Deadlift, we're just gonna go with kettlebells. Not, we're not doing crazy heavy deadlifts. Again, we're doing circuits. And same thing, sh shoulders and, and buys will be light to moderate weight. And this is just a throwing round. Technically, that, what we just did was really a full workout. It was more than a full workout, could be done. So we're just gonna hit the finishing touches on the shoulders, the guns, 
Welcome to the gun show. Look at these guns. Look at these guns. You can't even see them. Guns. I don't see any. That gun. Show the guns. Take off the long sleeve. Oh, rock. Show the guns. So that's what the next round is going to be. And we're still adding in the pull ups and the push ups. Pull ups, we're just going to do whatever at this point after shoulders and thighs. Pull ups, pull ups. Whether it's five or six or eight again, whatever it is, push ups. Vodka. We're going to put it back down to 10 to 15. <clears throat> just because you still got to be smart. And it's throwing. Shit, pull ups and push ups weren't any part of the workout. We've already done six sets of push, push ups 10, 12, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So over 100 okay. or almost. I'm going to do the math. Getting to it. It'll be by the time we're done. And that's just a throw in. And then pull ups, we did eight times five plus six. Shit. Almost 50 push pull ups. And that's just throw ins. That's just for bonus rounds. And we're not done. So get ready for solar press. Solar press, don't need to go heavy. The show's got so much work already on the chest press, on the on the push ups. So these shoulders are gonna be dumbbells, not gonna be crazy heavy. Same with the push ups. Seconds, we're getting ready to go. Okay, we did 90 push ups. I was testing out before if you could be live on one phone on Instagram and do a story on another phone on the same Instagram account and it worked. But now this phone isn't catching the Wi Fi. What the hell? This is Wi Fi connected. What's up with that? How are we doing, freaks? Janine Pato, who is training with us? Marie. All right, so we're getting ready for the shoulder presses. This first round is going to be just double arm. You could go palms forward, palms in, whatever feels better on your shoulders. Sometimes I'll start forward and maybe shift in. The alternating, I usually go in. The double, I go out. Do what works. See what happens. You don't need crazy weight. Not even crazy reps. I was pressing it. Should be one is on the thing, one is here. Let's go. Let's do it. Shoulder press. 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 So I switch it. Who cares? Oh yeah. Deadlifts are also not going crazy heavy. You could use a trap bar and sit over there. We're using just a kettlebell because we still have a lot of leg work to do later with the bike. So I'm just going to use a single kettlebell. About work. We're worried about getting in shape and staying in shape. Not about how much weight we can lift, so then we blow our back out or some dumb shit. I can sit and deadlift 300 pounds, 400 pounds, but that's not gonna get me where I need to be. So we're gonna grab this cannonball of a kettlebell, and that's what we're deadlifting. Yeah. But for a deadlift, it's a big kettlebell, for a kettlebell, it's big, but for a deadlift, it's actually very light. If I think about it, she weighs... give the secret, so let's oh. pretend it was heavier, so it looks so big. It almost looks as big as this. This is 106, that's 18. And it looks the same size almost. Because this has very many centimeters, plus it's weight on its own. Those are deadlifts. Right into bicep curls. Which this round is also going to be double arm, both arms going together with the elbows stuck in at the sides. Right here, elbows at the sides, palms, so the weight is right in front of the thighs. Both arms together. So, right here, five, one, three. Control it, don't bounce it, don't sway your body, slight bend your knees. Back is tight, back is straight, abs are tight. 
We control. Control that. Resist down. Getting the work on the way down also. Four more. Nids, you are a magnet to hard objects. So there's bicep curls. We're going to go to pull-ups and see what happens. All right, so those bicep curls. It's getting late in the game. We are already... We're over an hour, hour and a half. I don't even know how long. An hour into this? All right. So we're going on pull-ups. Is fading, Good. the back is fading, the thighs are fading, but we're still gonna see what we got. Ha! Push-ups next. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Midge over there doing her pull-ups. You can do regular pull-ups. Midge, those are bullshit. You're just bouncing on your toes. There you go. Nice grind out. Just one or two or three. Nice. How many was that? Three? Yeah. Nice. At this point, three full overhand pull-ups. Shit. That's all you need. That's all you need. Now we're on push-ups. We're done going up on push-ups, or at least I am. You do whatever you need to do. You got to be smart about it. I'm going to keep this elbow recovering still. It's still recovery phase from over a week ago. And I feel it flaring up again with these reps of push-ups. So I'm just going to do what I want to do what I got to do. Push-ups. It's just going to be 10, 12, 15, whatever at this point. Doesn't matter. Let's get it in. Go. Stop at 12. It was an easy, easy 12, but I'm all, it's all good. And that, suckers, is the round. We're going at least two more rounds with this group because we're going to go alternating, alternating on the shoulders and buys, and then single arm. We're trying to get two rounds in for the time that we got 20 minutes. Two more rounds in? We got it. That would be good. Time to help. <laughs> but if you're looking to stay fit all year round, to be well balanced with strength, conditioning, cardio, endurance, strength, but also strength, endurance. This is the type of training you need to do. This is literally pretty much the training we do all year round. Just by changing some of the parameters. Changing some of the parameters, like the rep ranges, order of the exercises, whether we do double, alternate, single, three exercises in a row, six exercises in a row, nine exercises in a row, 12 exercises in a row. So just tweaking it like that week to week. But this is how we train all year round. You rarely will see meathead, single muscle group. That, that, that's how you don't stay in shape all year round usually for the majority of the people. Some of the juice heads and stuff out there and people who are, that works for them, but most people don't. Most people doesn't work. I wanna stay fit and athletic and I wanna be damn near top shape all year round. Not three, four months away from top shape. I wanna be 10 days away from top shape. Three weeks from like the best shape of your life at all times. So always being ready, always training like this is what it takes to stay fit and in shape and in summer shape all year round. There's no you get ready for the summer in the winter, whatever this bullshit you see all over the internets. Fuck. Be ready for the summer all year round. What the hell are you gonna do? Because it's winter, you wanna be fat? Because winter you're gonna knock what do you got to do? What did you have to take your shirt off? In the middle of winter. What are you going to do then? Oh, it's winter, so I'm on, the, I'm on my whale workout season. No. Whale workout? No. Came out like this. Stay in shape all year freaking round. All right, let's do it. Shoulder press. 
Shoulder. Press. Yes, I said well workout. I don't give a fuck. So what? We're going to be pressing it. Let's go. So. Palms in. Alternating this round. Go. Kettlebell. What's up, Eagle Austin? Hell yes. Yeah. On the kettlebell. We're doing my weight. You know, we should be doing your weight. Yeah. One time. This is my. He wants a deadlift, 100 and something pounds. That's 20, 25 percent higher than his body weight. He wants to go do. Hurry up! You should, I gotta get in there. Okay, okay. 25 percent of the freak show's body weight. Man, stop acting like it's gonna be so hard. You do that shit easy. Oh my god, that's a joke. 106 pounds. All right, let's go. Deadlift. Shh. So if you're doing like heavy workouts, right? But you can't do freaking 10, 15 pull-ups. What's the point? Got all that mass and size. If you can't run a mile or run up a flight of fucking stairs without huffing and puffing, what's the point? You should be able to run a sprint. You should be able to run a mile. You should be able to run 10 miles. You should be able to hike. You should be able to go uphill. You should be able to go downhill. You should be able to have balance. You should be able to have coordination. You should be conditioned to play football. You should be conditioned to play basketball. You should be conditioned for boxing. Soccer. You should be conditioned for soccer, for tennis. All different energy systems. Conditioned for any of them at any time, all year round, or else. What is the point? You can't watch long. It'll be on there recording. You can check it. It's a full entire workout. Eagle Austin. It'll be on. It'll be right on the page. We'll post it onto the page after a full training session. Check it out. Let us know how it goes for you. Biceps. Alternating arms. Daddy, I think we got like half an inch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a half an inch of your intestines poking out of your belly soon. Yeah. Alternating arms. Let's go. Yeah. Bullshit. I did 50 with you. All right. All right. We're going back over to pull-up bars. FedEx, FedEx. Come on, come on. What are you excited about FedEx? You have nothing coming for you. You just assume that FedEx is bringing you like some Legos or some shit. Yeah, Tyson. Remember that time that you were so excited for your Rhino Lego and then it came in. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. So, super See what excited. happens after all that. See what the hell happens. Ha! Ah, oh, hey! <laughs> So you know it's I'm still here, I'm still here. going well when you're getting when eight is a fucking struggle. That's where you gotta get to. Let's go bang it out, Tyson. Get up, get up there. Nice. Speak out one more. Rip the bar down. Bring the bar down to you. Nice. Three after all that is freaking awesome. Three full overhand real pull-ups. Hell yeah. Hell. Yeah, and push-ups. Push-ups. I'm just sticking with 10 here at this point.
One more round, and we gotta roll. So this one more round's gonna be all single arms. It's gonna take a little longer because the shoulders, shoulders and the biceps have to go single arm. So we got time for one more round, and then I gotta get on coaching calls and private coaching calls with coaching clients and project sales calls coming up. Private coaching calls, the way it goes is it's one on one, high level. Peak performance accountability coaching, where I meet with the clients once per week on a live video coaching call. It could be 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Help them out in their mind, their body, and their business to have more discipline, more energy, more confidence, to take more action, and to be them freak selves and elevate in all areas of life. Not just the mind, not just the body, but to make more freaking money. And that's what private coaching is. It's operate to dominate. Peak performance, one-on-one -on -one accountability coaching. And then right after that, I have some project sales calls and then actually a project interview with a previous project graduate's wife, just talking about the impact that the project has had on their family, on their business, on their finances, and just their life in general. And that's all coming up for the rest of the day. The project, if you don't know already, is a 75 hour, highly immersive, physical, mental, and emotional experience for men, where you're getting a chance to live and train and learn with the United States Marine, with a Navy SEAL, with a SWAT officer, with a martial arts expert, with a business empire builder, where you're learning to kill the inner bitch and unleash the beast that is within inside you. And this is all done through a physical breakdown to have a mental, emotional, social, spiritual, and financial breakthrough. It's about break down to break through. That's what the project is all about. And you could also attack the hill and kill the hill. You can attack the hill, attack the hill and kill the hill. Yeah. So that's what the rest of the day looks like after this round for me. It's private coaching calls, project sales calls for candidates who want to join the project. We have to make sure they're a good fit for the program before we allow them into this elite brotherhood of men. And then also project, it was called the MDK Wives Interviews. MDK Wives, Modern Day Night Wives Interviews. And these, I'm telling you, are more impactful than, than speaking to the men the actual graduates, because we're seeing it from the other side of the tracks. From the other side, the another perspective from what was life like before the project, what was it like building up to the project, and what's it like now, two months, six months, some of these guys a year, two years after graduating, how is their life, how is their finances, how is their relationships improved? That's what the interviews are all about, and you'll look out for those that release them. Now enough babbling, we gotta get back to this round and finish off last round. Of the day. I gotta roll. I gotta roll. Come on. Single Go arm. Go ahead. Single arm shoulder press. Let's do it. 11 21. Nine more minutes. So good. So good. So Right away, switching it over. Banging it out. Slow down. Slow down. I gotta have enough time to make my post workout drink before these calls, so I gotta go. Cool. Right to deadlift right away. We're moving. We're moving. Yes. Single arm, single arm. Bicep, pull up, push up. Eagle lost at 96. Where are you from? Where are you watching from? He's back on. He's jumping in for a, a set. That's what I like. Just hop in. Fuck it. Get a couple rounds in. Keep your energy levels up throughout the day. Single arm. Oh, I'm guessing Austin means you're from Austin, duh. Unless that's your name. Like Steve Austin. Who's Steve Austin? Wrestler, WWF. Oh, that's like the 90s. <laughs> oh, you have the zombie. It says like oh, 316 on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the black? Is it the black vest on? 
Oh yeah. Walt. That's your, don't Walt. touch my thing. Mitch, don't touch any part. Who said South Dakota? South Dakota. Oh, so she Austin wasn't it? Follow along from South Dakota. Freaking awesome. Switch it over. Ooh. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Pause that top squeeze, control it down. Single arm on the buys. So this is nine rounds of five exercises. That's 45 sets after the full warm up with all the bands and all that other stuff. So we've done 45 sets here with you. We did six sets of the first group, three, six rounds of the first group, three rounds of this group. It's three exercises plus pull ups, push ups, 45 freaking sets. That is how you freaking roll. Seven South Dakota, minutes. what's going on? Seven more minutes. All right, pull-ups. After those biceps, last set of pull-ups of the day. And the pull-ups are just a freaking throw-in. See if I can keep that string of eight going. Last set was fucking hard. Let's see what happens. Fuck it. Ha! Eight or die, bitch. Eight or die. Listen, if I stop for eight, you can punch me in the kidney as hard as you can. Free shots. Free shots if I stop for eight. Ready? Shit. I better get him now. One, two, three, ha! Stop, 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 stop! Shh! Whoosh. Stop, stop! Shh. Dang it, dang it! No, 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 no! Whoosh. Whoosh. No! Whoosh. Nine! Ha! Suckers! He did nine. Whoosh. Ten. You're making me look bad. <laughs> Yeah, where's your kidney punches? You little off, little shit was hoping to get me with some <laughs> kidneys. You know how pull-up bars? Match you on push-up. Yes, we're going back to push-ups after this. Oh, Eagle Austin, you got to get yourself somewhere to do pull-ups. So you can bang them out every day. They have ones you can hang right on a, a door frame. Every time you walk through that fucking door frame, bang out three or four or five pull-ups. You'll constantly be getting stronger. Pull-ups are like the king of upper body. Last set of push-ups. We're already at, I don't even know, well over 100 push ups. And push ups aren't even part of the workout. These are just bonus sets. So, last set of push ups. Bang it out. Let's do it. Ha! Let's do it. Suckers! We're going to 20. Right? Shh. Shh. Okay. Woo! Go. Woo! 20. Oh, yeah. That elbow is feeling good. All right, freak shows. No, the workout's done. Workout's done, Mitch. Well, you said 11.30 and it's 11.20. Yeah, but I got to get going. Yes, working on that pull-ups. Done types. I got to run and get on these, phone, on these coaching calls. Got to go make my post-workout drink and go get on these coaching calls. Unless your freak shows out there, these live workouts are going to be available for you every single day on Instagram, on Facebook, completely live, completely free, and they're always on the page for you to check later. We also post a different video, a different workout every single day on both of our YouTube channels. So make sure you're following us on YouTube. You'll have never ending, no excuses for not getting your workouts in. We're literally putting two workouts per day, minimum per day, full workouts, completely live, completely free, over on, uh, on, on YouTube also. So I gotta run and get on these coaching calls. If you need any help with anything, with your mind, your body, your business, let's talk about it. If you are a man that knows you need to become an even better husband, an even better father, an even better entrepreneur, an even better leader, an even better fucking man, send me a message. Let's talk about the project. We'll see you. That's a four-day event held here in California, a live in-person event. See if it's a good fit for you. We'll jump on the phone, go through the interview process, see if you're a good fit to join this ongoing lifelong brotherhood of kick-ass, hungry, motivated, successful Men of fire who understand you, can relate to you, and are there to support you without expecting anything in return. That is the project is from bitch to beast. So if you need help with any of that, just send me a private message or just comment. I will talk to you later. I gotta run. You're fucking awesome. No excuses. Free shows. And you also come to the Very, very normal children. I can't imagine where you get it from. I gotta run. You're fucking awesome. No excuses. Chesticles. Yes,